my worst thing I hate. It's not fake natties, it's fake bingers. Coach Greg, and today it's a video about these freaking eaters. The ones that say they eat a bazillion calories on the internet. They show you how much they eat, they're dancing, they're always shredded. Are they in fact eating all this food? What's the secret? Do they have fast metabolisms? I'm gonna get into all of that, okay? So I'm gonna start by saying, this video is about cheat day eats in particular. In case you're bored in the house, in the house bored. So you're bored in the house, and you're bored in the house, and you're bored, and you're bored, and you're in the house, and you got 50,000 calories sitting on the freaking bed. And what do you do? Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this binge eating disorder of mine. It's so exciting, watch this. Oh, I got Nutella, I got peanut butter. Just the Nutella and peanut butter alone. Just those two little tubes is more than she should be eating in a city. The rest of it, it's absolutely insane. You cannot eat that much food. She didn't eat the food. She pretended to. She is in fact a paid food advertiser. She quit her school teaching job because she makes more money at this. She travels the world, goes to restaurants and promotes food. They pay her money more than as a school teacher. So, what captures your attention? A stupid picture of 10,000 calories in a box that she's gonna go to town on and dance around. Yay! It's literally food porn. She's on a dance and ah, and ooh, and look at me, and oh, and it's food. I mean, people, you have a freaking mental disorder. You do, you need to go see counseling for this. If she in fact ate this food, she in fact threw up this food. Don't kid yourself. The people on the internet that are doing 10,000 calorie binges, 10,000 calorie cheat meal, I ate 15,000 calories in a day. They don't actually eat it and if they do, they throw it up. They don't break laws of thermodynamics. They don't have magical metabolisms from another world. No, they're all from planet Earth and they can't just eat whatever they want and have a six pack. No, they don't eat what they're saying and you think they do. The reason for this is it gets a ton of views. You ever seen Matt Does Fitness's channel? Half the videos he posts are just, look how much freaking food I'm gonna eat. Watch me copy Arnold's diet. Watch me eat 10,000 calories of pancakes. Watch me eat 10,000 calories of bananas. Watch me eat 10,000 calories of McDonald's. Don't watch me eat my wife's diet. Don't watch me eat my kid's diet. I'll eat what I can eat for a day. I'll eat what my mom ate. I'm gonna eat what my entire family's cousins ate last week for supper tonight. That's the channel. That's what he does. And I have ripped abs. Look at me. That's the channel. So I type cheat day on YouTube just to see what comes up. Okay, cheat day. Krispy Kreme's new donut cheat day. Fit girl dream cheat day. What I eat in a day in quarantine, cooking everything in the home. Gas station cheat day. 10,000 calorie giants explain. Eat cheat meal girlfriend eating no calorie limit day. Ultimate cheat day, 9,000 calories of eating. Cheat meal, cheat day. Bodybuilder tries to rock cheat meal. See, I just talked about that one. That's the one with Matt Does Fitness. Ultimate birthday cheat day. That's Matt Does Fitness again. Do this after a cheat meal. How to properly use cheat meals to lose fat faster. Are you kidding? So, 25,000 calorie Titan Challenge High School Day. The 25,000 calorie Titan Challenge High Day? What are they talking about? What I eat in a quarantine day? There's so many people that do it because there's so many views. People are promoting this. And guess what? My worst thing I hate. It's not fake natties. It's fake bingers. They're faking it for views. They don't actually eat all this food. And if they do, they throw it up. They're fake bingers. Do you know why I hate it more than fake naturals? You know you don't like fake naturals. Why? Because they're giving the wrong message that you can achieve a body like that without anabolics. Well, that's so bad that they're faking, they're pretending that they could have achieved that. Do you think that's worse than saying, I can eat 10,000 calories of junk food and I look amazing all the time and it doesn't matter? That's not good, that's a bad message that binging is okay. All these people have eating disorders. 
They're promoting binge eating disordered eating. It's not good to promote that. It would be like me standing here and saying, y'all should take anabolics. It's great. Look at me. I don't say that. Don't break the law. Don't do these things. Tricking you, misleading you into thinking they had the 10,000 calories and dancing and being so happy. It's a trick. You're going to watch that and think, well, how come they can do that and I can't? I must have a shitty metabolism. Poor me. I didn't choose the right parents. No, you chose not to throw up. No, you chose not to be an idiot and eat 10,000 calories in the city. It's not healthy to do that. Don't do this. Now, I'm not saying they don't have every right to do this. They are actors. They are making money. It's their job to sell this food. Okay? Some people just want to be famous or infamous. They just want money, a career. You can't fault them for wanting to have a career to make money. Okay? I'm not saying they shouldn't be allowed to do that. You can do whatever the heck you want. But I can say it's stupid. I can say you probably shouldn't copy them and I can say that they're probably either throwing up or they're not actually eating the entire thing. So the next time you watch some fitness influencer, some famous person eat a 10,000 calorie meal, did you in fact see them eat the entire meal? Did they eat the entire meal? Did they even say they ate the entire meal? Or did they just dance on a bed near the food or take a picture in front of the 500 pounds of pancakes and say, look at me. Okay. So I'm going through cheat day eats Instagram account, which has 464,000 subscribers. And she's like eating the biggest food in the world. It's so huge. And you're like, Oh my God, how does she have her abs? She took one bite of it. It looks cool for an attractive woman with a lot of food. I don't know why it is, but for some reason, either men or women like seeing this. It's a big amount of food and a small, and she has the one bite. She doesn't actually eat it all, people. And then she's got another one. She's got like three Philly cheesecakes and fries and burger that high. And she takes one bite of one of them and says how great it tastes. She doesn't eat all that. Are you kidding me? I could not eat all that. And I will bet one bazillion dollars I can eat double as in two times as much as she can eat. Double. One bazillion dollars. That's a lot of freaking money. I cannot eat this woman. I cannot eat what's in this freaking video. You think she is? No, she's not. She's a liar or failing to say she's not eating it. And I don't even think she's claiming to. She's just doing it because she sells and markets food and is not stupid. She knows that if there's a picture with a whole ton of food and a half a decent looking woman next to it, more people are going to click it than it's a small portion of meal. Oh, watch me eat this small portion of pizza. Or watch me with 5,000 calories of pizza. See the difference? And she's laying in bed with about 25 freaking pancakes lined up. And she's like, this, oh, look at me, I'm about to eat this. It's like, why are you doing this in bed? Is that some kind of sexual connotation that you're eating food in bed? Is food actual sex here? What is happening? To a lot of people, they'd rather eat than have sex. That's the kind of impression I'm getting, okay? These people are just trying to make food, like it's food porn. I don't know how to explain it, food porn. And for some reason, people love it when you pull out cheese strings. I don't know. It's like a freaking porn shot at the end of the freaking movie. So it's literally one picture after the next. They're each get worse or they're just as bad. Every single picture. Just look at this. It's literally food porn. I mean, she's got the food. It's like, watch it go into my mouth and watch me chew this and watch me open it up. But she's not in fact eating this stuff. She might take one bite. That's why she has abs. She either does that or she has an eating disorder. Before she got into this, and she explained it in a video, I used to plan my whole week for the cheat that I was going to have on the weekend. And I had to make it just perfect. It had to be the perfect restaurants. She said this in a video. And I would literally like go crazy over where I was going to eat on my cheat day. That's an eating disorder. We you can't wait all week for the weekend. It's like being a drug addict. Oh my God, Saturday night, I can't wait. I need to have all these for their drugs are lined up again. I'm gonna go here and do that. And I'm gonna get so wasted on it all. Same thing as a food addiction. 
okay? It's not a good thing. Not good. So stop it already. Stop it. This is worse than being a fake natty. A fake binger, it happens all the time. Look on the internet, not naming any names. Don't write anybody and suggest that I am. Watch these videos with an open mind thinking, look, he or she is probably not eating all that they say they are, or he or she is probably going to throw up after. Then that will make you feel better about yourself knowing that you cannot eat what they are doing. No, they don't have magic metabolisms, and no, they are just lying to you or failing to report the truth, okay? That's enough of this. Subscribe, click the bell buttons, buy my cookbook, buy my freaking recipes, buy everything you can from me, training plans and so on. Subscribe, like the video, watch one of these two videos up here. Hope you learn from something from that. And until next time, I am out.